Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. Today's video will be on how to get DVDs to your computer than onto your iPod. There will also be a Mac review coming out when I can find the program for it. Okay, we'll be using DVD Fab 6 to do this. To get this, you want to go into your internet browser. I'll put the link to the website in the description for you. So, just over there in the description. Okay, after once you've uh, got to the website, you want to click download. After once this page is loaded, you want to go down and you want to click click to download from official download. You want to save the file. I've already got it, so I'm not going to do it. Go through the installing, all the installing stuff, you know. After once you've done all that, you just want to double click on it. Should look something like this. Over to the side here, you want to go DVD to mobile. And you want to go iPod and iPhone. Okay, you want to set a destination. So target. As you can see, I've already set one to my D drive. After you set that, you want to put in your DVD into your computer. So I'll just put that in now. Let it load. This just might take a little bit, so just be patient. After I slow up, well, just do analyzing. Okay, after I slow it up, if it's already unticked, you just want to tick the main movie here. It should be an hour or whatever, it depends what you're converting. Okay, just the main one. After once you've selected your target and all that, you can start. You can hit start. Just go, oh, this is nothing. Just go. It's only because I've tried it before. And so it's asking me if I want to override my other file. Just hit yes. As you can see, it's going to take roughly 50 minutes or so, depending on how big the DVD is. So, I'll be back with you when this is done. As you can see, it's finished converting my movie. After once you're done, just click finish. And then, up the top, exit. Okay. Go to the file where you saved your movie. The destination where you saved it. It should have made a folder called iPod and then title of the movie. They're going to be about 800 meg or so. After you've got the movie there, you want to connect up your iPod to iTunes. Go into your iTunes. You want to go to your iPod and you want to take it off auto sync. So make sure this one's not here, is tick. You don't want auto syncing or this will not work. Go back to the file, you want to drag it to iTunes, then up to your iPod, okay? Into the movies. This may take a little bit, but as you can see, there's a blue box that's going around the movies. After once you've got the blue box around there, let go. Let go, sorry. I'm going to start loading. And you should get a loading sign up top. Syncing. Same with the iPod. This may take a little bit. So 
so it's taking so long. It is 800 meg, so this will take a little bit. As you can see, this is a DVD rip. So sorry about how this is taking so long, but it is a big movie. I was finished. So sink in your iPod. And if I go over to here now, and if I click on movies, I should have a movie. Now I'll show you that this did work. I'll get my iPod. Go down the videos. Just update my library because I did just sync it to my iPod. Sorry about this. As you can see, the movie. Yeah, I'm not going to let you watch too much of that because that will be copyright. Okay, well that's all i got to show you today. That's how you get DVDs to your computer onto your upper Dutch. Please view my channel, uh, comment, rate, 5 stars. And hope this works and hope you enjoy. Thanks.